Hi, welcome to Noni's Crafty Kids. I'm Noni. Today I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet on the rainbow loom. I'm calling it the Fishtail Ladder. It was actually designed by a friend of mine, Larry, and here was his first bracelet made with this design. I helped him a little bit to get a closure on it and to adapt it a little. Now, what I had done, I challenged the crafty kids to see what they could come up with as a bracelet or some other project to use these really cool little rainbow fun charms and especially the animal ones. And this is the one that Larry came up with because the ladder in between the two fishtails is just perfect for hooking those charms on. And so I put the penguin on mine and that worked out very nicely. But of course you don't have to put a charm on it. It's a good looking bracelet as it is. So let's get going. Now, this double fishtail ladder just happens to be the perfect design to use on the new Monster Tail Rainbow Loom that's come out very recently. It sits in your hand and is just perfect for using when you're in the car or away from home. Very easy to transport and very easy to use. Now you'll see that a difference is that the pegs on the monster tail rainbow loom do not have as deep of a channel. They don't come around into a full horseshoe the way the pegs do on the regular rainbow loom. And that's because the monster tail is designed specifically for fishtail type bracelets. So that's how we'll be using it today to make these fishtails. You can make the same design on the rainbow loom. And this is how you would set up your rainbow loom to do this double fishtail ladder. We'll slide down to the other end so you can see just the peg bars. I'm using two peg bars set up not even, but just offset. And then we use two sets of three to do this design on the rainbow loom. I'll show you more of that in just a little bit, but let's get started using the monster tail. So the first thing you need to do is to decide what your colors will be for your fishtail bracelet. Basically, you want to have three colors. What I have here is the camouflage collection along with a bright orange, which works out really nicely. But for the tutorial, let's just choose three colors and we'll do red, white, and blue. I've decided to use blue and white alternating for the fishtails with red forming the ladder in between the two tails. Like any other fishtail bracelet, this one begins with bands twisted into a figure eight. And as always, it's good to hold your finger on top, especially with the monster tail, because there's not a lot of peg to hold the rubber band on. I also like to twist my figure eights twice. That just seems to me to give a tighter finish. Okay. So we're going to make two three peg fishtails. One just like this and one at the opposite end. Get that over there. Mm -hmm. And 
there's our sixth rubber band. Set up on the monster loom and you see that you will have two bands on every peg. Now we'll move to our second color and it loops around all three pegs like this. And you can do both bands at the same time if you want to. All right, now just one, your third color across the center. And that's your setup for the double fishtail ladder. You come in and you take the bottom two bands up and over. I find with the monster tail, it really helps to keep your finger there, holding the other rubber bands down. Okay, it doesn't really matter which direction you go or where you begin with your looping, as long as you go all the way around, all six pegs, it's going to come out the same. All right, so you're left with two bands on four of the pegs. And on the ends, you have three bands. That should be your configuration throughout the entire bracelet, all the way. Now I want to show you on the larger loom how that configuration looks. Here we have pink and red, or rose and red, with a light purple as the ladder band. And there are these three pegs, or these six pegs, three in a triangle here, three in a triangle here, and then your ladder band goes from end to end. So you're only going to use these six pegs, and that corresponds with your monster. And so we keep going, repeating each layer of bands, two of each color. So I have two of my first color, and the latter. Ah, and I did just what I told you not to do. But that's good because I can show you how to fix it very easily. Take the ladder off and you're back to putting those circles on. So you just grab that, put it back over, run the tool around to straighten out those bands so they're not overlapping. Put your third color right back on. So no need to panic, but do as I say, not as I carelessly do. Hold those bands down. You see how they want to come right off there. Okay, let's hold them down from this side. Up and over. There we go. Here we have the three bands. The ladder attaches to the end. And back to two. And the second end. Grab that third one. If you can't, or if it's difficult for you to grab all three, just grab the two and then come back and move the ladder. And that works out just fine. And push down. 
after you've gone six or seven layers, you'll want to begin pulling your fishtails out from the bottom. That's very easy with the Monster Loom. If you're using the original Rainbow Loom, you'll need to come in with your tool, push down, and then gently hook these from the bottom and bring them out. Okay? Like this. So I'll do one more round. Now, I have blue here, or color one. So nice thing about having three colors is that you always know which color comes next because it's going to be the opposite color than the one that's on the pegs. So blue is on now, so I put on white. Here we go. And color number three. Hold the bands down, up and over. Hold them down, up and over. Here, up and over. And here. Two bands on that peg, three bands on that one. Push them down. You've got two bands left on each side, three bands left on the ends. There you go. Now, you can reverse your video and repeat that if you like. I'm going to come over here in the magic of video. Here is a bracelet I've already have just about finished. So that's going to go just about around my wrist. So I'm going to put about three more layers on it. So I have red for the center. And we're going to switch these to gray and black now. There, I've switched my bands from red, white, and blue to gray, black, and red. So I can show you how to finish the double fish tail ladder bracelet on a bracelet that's already reached the point where it's just about long enough to go around my wrist. So looking here, the last bands that I put on were color number two, the black color. So I'm going back to color number one, which is gray on this bracelet. No figure eights, just triangles. Push them down a little bit. Bring my color three across for my ladder. And where'd I put my hook? There we go. So I'm going to come in and grab the bottom two bands, color one, color two bands, up and over. Again, keeping my finger on those top bands so they don't jump off. Now, here's something that is different when you're using the original rainbow loom instead of the monster loom. I have the peg bars set up so they're facing opposite direction. You see one arrow is pointing to the right, the other arrow is pointing to the left. The horseshoe on this one opens to the left, the horseshoe here opens to the right. This is because I do my looping with my right hand and that's easier for me to reach in from the right and grab that rubber band. So again, as I turn it around, I'm ready to do this one. 
This is an end, so I have three bands to bring up and over. Here in the middle, on the side, grab the two black bands, color number two, bring it up and over. There. So that is another difference from your monster loom. You see that both sides on the monster loom, the channels of the pegs face outward. Always. And so you're always hooking from the outside up and over. The original rainbow loom, your pegs will face to one side or the other. So in this configuration, you want them in opposite directions. All right, back we go for another layer, color two, around three pegs, around the next three pegs, color three, across from one end to the other. Okay, bringing my hook, holding down the top bands up and over. The two bottom bands come up and over and I'm using the channel to get in there and grab those gray bands. Here, that's the end, so I have three bands to bring up and over. Turn the loom around and I'm again working from my right. So I'm starting at the other end, three bands up and over. I'm sorry, those were two bands. Those were three bands because I have the ladder. Two bands up and over, two bands up and over. We'll do it one last time. And I am back to color number one, which is gray. Two bands around three pegs. Two bands around three pegs. A single band of color number three. Across from one end to the other. Hold the bands down. Two bands up and over. Hold these bands down. Two up and over. And I got my hook caught in my ladder. Here we are, three bands up and over. Turn the loom around. Three bands up and over. Two bands up and over, two bands up and over. Okay, now we're ready to finish this pattern. So this is our last full row. We have two bands on each of the side pegs and three bands here on the ends. So I'm going to go back now put on one more layer of color two on this bracelet. It's the black, but I'm not going to put on another red. I'm going to bring all of the bottom bands up and over, including the final color three, the red one, so that we'll be left with two bands on each peg all the way around, including the ends. All right. I'm going from this side. Oh, I switched the directions of the bands during one of the video cuts. That's why it looks different. So, you can see I accidentally switched the bands 
during that last video break. So now all of these are pointing the same direction. So I'll just have to be a little more careful because I'll be working from my off side rather than the side that's more comfortable for me. All right, push these bands down. And I'm going to bring all of the bands from one peg bar to the opposite peg on the other peg bar. So this one comes over here. Of course, those are two bands. So now there's four bands here. The center, up and over. And the last one, up and over. So now, essentially, we're done with this peg bar. I'm going to take this piece off as well. So like any fishtail, here we have the loops on three pegs on a single bar. So we want to finish these so that they're secure. Let's do that ending again. Here's the ending done on the monster. Okay, it's exactly the same process as on the full-size rainbow loom, but it just, it looks a little bit different. So I'm going to grab the loops from this side, lift them up and over their peg, and replace them on the opposite peg. And now I'll do the same. Before I draw this out, I'm going to bring, get down in here, push the top ones back, and bring the bottom two loops up through onto the center peg. And now that's caught, so we can take that off. And now I'm going to grab these from the end, put them over that center peg. Make sure I have all three bands looped around that peg. Then I'll push them back, grab the bottom two pegs, two bands, bring them out and onto that peg. And now I can remove these from the loom because those are hooked, they're caught. All right, so now we do the same. Come over here, I've already moved this. Let's just repeat ourselves. These are the two bands that were on this peg. They've come up and onto the opposite peg. Okay, now I'm going to bring the bottom two bands up through and put them on the center peg. Okay, now we'll come over here, move the end three bands onto that peg. Right, push them back, and once again, bring the bottom two bands up through and onto that peg. So now these are caught, they won't come loose, so I'll take them off. Now, I'm going to do the same thing that I did here. I'm going to push the top two back, bring the bottom one up, and onto another peg. And now this is caught, and this can come off. That leaves me, yeah, I pushed them down a little too far to see. That leaves two sets of bands 
on here. So I'm going to take them up and off onto my hook, onto my rainbow loom tool. And now, if I'm making a bracelet, I can loop them around, use two C-clips, and fasten them right there. Here we are now. I'm going to gather four bands from the starting edge and put them in the C-clip. No mystery here, just get them all in. Sometimes I'm surprised at how many bands these C-clips can really hold. But at other times, it seems like the more bands, the more secure the hold is. Okay, I've got three of them in there. Nope, I've got four. Okay, now we'll get another one over here on this side. It's always easier for some reason to come up from below with the C-clip and pull it up. And that way the band just slips right in. Okay. Let's get that. How many do I have now? That's three. And there's four. Okay. Now, I'm going to come over here and I want two in each clip. So, bring that around, making sure that the bracelet is not twisted. And pull that right in like that. Get over here. Am I getting it on camera? Let's get some light on the subject. inside that band and there we are. That one's ready to come off the hook. Okay, we do the same thing over here with this side and these two bands and there we are. Now you can zhuzh that, straighten them around, get them tighter if you want to. And there's our double fishtail ladder bracelet. Now you can stop now and you've got a nice bracelet. Or you can do what I've done here. This is rainbow fun charms. And these little plastic animals have their own clips that are very much like the sea clips. So you just grab one of those ladders. I found the place that's about halfway across from the beginning. Grab one of those ladders, put it in that clip, come over to the other side and do the same. And there you have a bracelet. Now I want to show you one other possibility with charms that's really quite fun. Rainbow Fun Charms also have the glitter charms in a number of different shapes. There's the flower, there's a heart, and a clover leaf, and this is the peace symbol, which goes very nicely. And these glitter charms do not have their own clips the way the animal charms have. Instead, they just have a loop at either side of the charm. So you need to thread a rainbow loom rubber band through that little connector. And then to connect it to the ladder bracelet, grab both sides of that loop from the inside of the bracelet. Bring it all the way through. Slide it up onto your tool and then come back the other side. And let's see, I think I should come up a little further. 
because that is a nice size charm. Of course, I'm using yellow, so it'll show up on the video. But ordinarily, I'd use the black or the red that matches the bracelet. But I want you to be able to see exactly what I'm doing. So I come up in here, which is the inside of the bracelet, grab a C-clip, give a little bit of tension to the, that loop, and put the C-clip right on, being sure to catch both sides of that loop. Now, you can take the hook out of that one, come over here, and do the same thing. And I seem to be all thumbs today. I bring those two ends of that band right into the sequence. There we go. And there you have your charm secured onto that. You can also hook the C-clip into another band on the side here just to secure it inside that ladder channel of the bracelet, then it's not going to catch on anything that you might be wearing. And there you go. The double fishtail ladder bracelet with charms. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please check the like box down below the screen. And you can subscribe to our channel so you see all of the Rainbow Loom videos put out for Noni's Crafty Kids. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.